Hey everybody, how's it going? Usually when I discuss right to repair, I'm talking about laptop and cell phone repair, particularly MacBooks and iPhones, or as I like to call them, luxury Facebook machines. This gives people the impression that the set of principles and philosophies that I advocate for only have to do with one company, and if you're not talking about Apple, that all of this just magically goes away. It doesn't. The set of principles that I'm discussing, the idea of schematics being available, of parts being available for sale, of not making devices where this one chip is exclusive to this and nobody can buy it but us, applies to every field. It applies to farmers with John Deere. It applies to medical equipment. And today, I would like to give you an example of that and why it is that I think right to repair is so important culturally outside of laptop and cell phone repair. So this is an article from the BBC, and it's titled, Coronavirus Tech Firm Bloom Energy Fixes Broken U.S. Ventilators. A Californian company that usually makes green energy fuel cells is due to deliver 170 repaired ventilators to L.A. later on Monday after transforming its manufacturing process. An engineer at Bloom Energy downloaded the service manual and taught himself how to dismantle and rebuild them in a day, the L.A. Times reported. They had been in storage since the H5N1 bird flu outbreak of the mid-2000s. Bloom said it is now working to find other stockpiles of disused machines. On Saturday, as California Governor Gavin Newsom visited the manufacturing plant, he said, We got a car and a truck and had them brought here to this facility at 8 this morning. And Monday, they'll have those ventilators back into L.A. all fixed. That's the spirit of California. Now, here's the punchline. Mr. Newsom said that the original manufacturers had initially told him it would take a month to fix 200 ventilators, which helps patients breathe if they are having difficulties due to COVID-19 or other diseases. The original manufacturers had initially told him it would take a month to fix 200 ventilators, which helps patients breathe. And this company, not even an unauthorized ventilator repair company. This is a company that has nothing to do with ventilator repair. They don't produce ventilators. They do not repair ventilators. They do something else entirely. And they were able to get the job done in 3% the time that the manufacturer quoted. And every single one of you lobbyists keeps talking about how unauthorized repair is dangerous. No, only authorized repair should have access to this shit. Your philosophy is going to get people killed. I want you to think about this. Imagine that you're 30 to 50 years older than you are now. You get coronavirus and you're in a room and you're close to the point where you can't breathe anymore. You're this close to suffocating. What would you rather have at the other end of the room? A ventilator that we fixed or a little post-it note that says, come back in a month? I hope you can sleep at night reading that anti-repair script you do at every hearing to collect your salary. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.